All right, so we're gonna do the commentary here on the Dream Phone episode. This is I got Bootsy here and Mike, motherfucker Mike. And I remember this is the first thing that was filmed for this entire uh, video, right? This uh, this life segment. I think so. Yeah, I mean this this was this video took a long time to make. It was about eight months, uh, but the reason it took so long was because we kept taking breaks from it. But this was done in the same weekend as the shark attack episode. Right. Uh, my entire involvement, well, almost, w with the exception of the song, uh, was all shot in this one day, uh. I think, with the voiceover and the acting. This is for a little girl. This is for a little girl. That's, uh, Jonathan Winter says that in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Trust mm -hmm. me on this. Trust me. Yeah, the idea was that uh, because, you know, the phone comes alive and uh, starts killing everybody, it, that it was all Bootsy's fault, that he's the one who introduced the game. That, that was the original idea. And the, there was always the idea that to do a uh, a girl's game, right. it, because we just found humor in that, that what if a b bunch of grown men are playing mm -hmm. a, a teenage girl's game. I know we say that in this in this video that, uh, you know, oh, that's weird, that's a really fun game. It, it actually is. It is. It is. Fuck you! I love fucking shit. Bootsy breaks character there, <laughs> and then we have all these '80s effects going on, which I love. Is that it's it's very much like an '80s video right here. You grew up in the '80s like we did. Like an '80s board game commercial. And that song, which Bootsy composed here, is so uh, authentic. It really sounds like it's from the '80s. <laughs> I was telling Mike, I, I wasn't, this is the only one I don't sing that I, uh, you know, created for your videos, and I got my friend Samantha to sing it, because I thought it would be more legit to have, a, obviously, a girl singing about a girl's yeah. board game. Probably the first female to ever work on a board James episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> There's always been different ideas of how to do a, a girl's game, because there was, you know, girl talk and mall madness. Ask Zanzibar, all that kind of stuff. All right, this song was supposed to sound like that. Uh, the Go Go's, the '80s band, the Go Go's. Yeah, actually, that's what I thought. I thought it's reminded me of. Um, did they do a uh, vacation? Yeah, that's them. Yeah. yeah. Especially our lips are sealed. Uh, that's what I wanted it to sound like. Belinda Carlisle. It's like a girl game, but it actually is pretty intense. Who would have thought this game? It's the only would time uh, motherfucker so motherfuck Mike has been honest, I think. Yeah. Same this game as like a detective game. You really gotta think. Like, imagine if it's the same exact game, same rules and everything, but instead of trying shirt, to find James? a guy who likes you, it's all about solving a murder case. Yeah. Solving yeah, a murder case. A clue, yeah. yeah. Like, um, like, and oh, that uh, that uh, shirt I'm wearing, I actually got from uh, go from a game oh, store in Toronto. <laughs> they they gave that to me. They were fans. Before you go. I would like you to have this game. I didn't even uh, pick up on that. The, uh, the murder. Uh, <laughs> ah. I didn't. I learn something new every time I see this. Yeah. Well, there's so many ways to think about this episode. Right. Maybe Board James wants to do some kind of murder game kind of thing. <laughs> I'm thinking about my DVDs that I used to have on my shelf back there. <laughs> yeah. A lot of this video was uh, filmed by myself, and it's really no... Um, I'm really no stranger to that. This this reminds me of filming movies, you know, years ago, like Cinemaphobia, where I'm just filming myself. A lot of times I'm the the starring actor in it. And uh, it's just something I'm very used to. Kind of reminds me of the Mr. Bucket video a bit. Don't you take the batteries out of him, too? At one point? Yeah, it's like, you know, Child's Play. A lot of those <laughs> movies where there's something that's battery-operated, but it doesn't have the battery, so how is it working? <laughs> that old cliche. Earlier, old when you walk into the basement, I know you had this uh, regular, uh, it's normally there, the Twilight Zone. Uh, book, yeah. So is that a conscious decision? Yeah, it's like, like he stepped into the Twilight yeah. Zone, you know. Uh, but right. I, it wasn't the first time that poster appeared uh -huh. in a Four James episode, but, you know. And well, that's uh, actually Bootsy doing the voice of the phone. That's right, and as we discussed, which we, we talk wanted, about. We want yeah. to go for like a Hal kind of uh, to start out the voice to sound like a 2001, the Kubrick movie. Yeah. The kind of innocence of a of the you know just the desperation. Uh huh. Of, of the phone, just looking for a friend, and you realize things are more sinister. Yeah. Oh, hey, so you matched up Night of the Living Dead to this, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's like. 
if you were to play the movie alongside the scene, the same exact clips that are on the screen would be there because it, it's in real time. So this entire scene is edited with it's absolute it's it's absolutely accurate, which it doesn't need to be, but it is. <laughs> I went too far. You do that a lot. You did that. You went way too far with the uh, <laughs> Wizard of Oz episode of the Nerd, and you did it once again here. Oh well, well that was kind of a thing where I synced it up. Where yeah. if you play Dark Side of the Moon along with the episode, <laughs> yeah. I like the lighting here. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah, definitely going for the creepy horror. Thing. You know what we did uh, before I made this episode? I tried to watch every phone movie that existed, right. and I don't think. Most of them weren't really that good. Like, I don't think they really got as creepy as possible, but the obvious example, the scene that we're, we're kind of referenced here was Scream. You know, most people from our generation definitely knows that. I remember while, you know, we were talking about this in, in the development of making this, wasn't Halloween going to be a big influence because it was like a slasher thing and Michael Myers and the phone has a knife and all that? Oh, yeah. Well, we, we just thought it was hilarious. What if the phone had a knife? Because how could a phone pick Hold up a knife? A knife? <laughs> and actually, that was really tricky because we had to glue the knife to the phone. But but we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're not even up to that scene. When you told me that, uh, that was the idea. I wasn't really on board with it. I thought it would be yeah. like a little too much. And then when I saw it, when you... you Texted me a picture of it, you know, yeah, the yeah. and I thought it was amazing. I think that there were some other ideas that went went farther where the phone shoots lasers and stuff, but <laughs> I didn't want the phone doing anything supernatural. Right. I want it to do only things that a person could do, except for the fact that it's a phone. It's <laughs> <laughs> a composite shot. And the phone, the phone is so pink. Yeah, the, the window there, Mike does not actually live across from me. That is, that is a fake. People ask that all the time. That's actually yeah. the same window. It's the same window twice, basically, but, um, but yeah, and there's the cards. Uh, oh, when you're dialing on the phone here, it might even be this eight, part. 8675309. It is. It, <laughs> you you it, caught it. It's 8675309. I've also heard me. that it's also the uh, Thundercats theme song. Thundercats are on the loose. Um, Some people You know, maybe that that's because they got, because we mentioned Thundercats. And, and you're wearing, wearing the hat. Thundercats hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, that might be looking too far in it, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't trying to do that with the, with the Thundercats. Yeah, you are. Yeah, well, I don't know if you heard. I got my dick bit off. Shark, <laughs> shark attack. Reference. Everybody laughs at that part with the shark. Even people who didn't see Shark Attack, they right. they always find that line to be yeah. very random and comes funny. out yeah, of left field. That. If you haven't yeah. seen the previous, one. I had a question. Yeah. Uh, Given the, uh, the lighting situation, mm -hmm. uh, did you have to film all of this at night? Uh, did you do basement stuff during yeah. the day or anything? Well, Is this all at night? The basement stuff could be done in the day because it's a basement, mm -hmm. but anything else like this here had to be done at night because. Were upstairs, mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah, because there were too many windows. Like there, you can see the window. Yeah. And I would have had to cover up all my windows to, you know. Yeah, I remember coming over your place late at night a few times. What's the latest? Yeah. What's the latest you were uh, awake working on this? Uh. I mean, because I have a, oh, like you know, a shot like a, too, a little off egg. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Like Batman. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I always try to keep, you know, because I have a family life. Like, you know, it's kind of hard when you, you can't just, you know, do things whenever. So I try to work during the day. But a lot of, for this video, I think at one point uh, my wife actually went uh, somewhere else. Like, I think she slept over a uh, family, uh, family member's house so that we could finish it. It's devotion. Was, it's it devotion. was, yes. Yeah, she left the house <laughs> to stay somewhere else. <laughs> It's um, funny, Brendan wasn't actually there. Yeah. Right. That was a... Oh, by the way. Oh, well, he's dead. That's an old death puppy joke from a movie I made, Death Puppy. Oh, where yeah. Where it's like, oh, well, he's dead. You know? <laughs> but uh, what, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, like your my wife, wife had to... Your wife she, she almost did, leaving you. <laughs> well, <laughs> not, not permanently, but for the night so that we could finish this. Mike and I were up one night, just all night shooting stuff. And uh, the I... The whole kitchen scene and all that. Yeah, like all this stuff here, we were shooting. Yeah, this. And I remember this night, part. Yeah. This took so many takes because every time I'd come back, we'd look at it, and it was like, it, this lens has a very narrow focus, and it was very hard to get in the right spot to get yeah. the focus. Oh, this shot! I remember this. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That was a pain in the ass. Yeah, I wasn't here to help out. I, uh, you two live in Pennsylvania. I live in New Jersey, so all the stuff that I helped out with happened I think in the one day and then uh, subsequently I went on to, to do the song but yeah so this stuff when you finished this and then and sent it to me it was just 
completely completely you know yeah watching it as a fan would you know it's like just uh -huh. all footage i didn't see you know this this took so long to make that there's actually continuity errors in my home because things changed really? and one of the first things we shot was w mike's murder i think that was pretty much we filmed the board game parts first where we're all together yeah. and then we on filmed, the wall? yeah then we filmed mike's death and then lots of stuff lots of time passed and we filmed other parts so there's a picture in the background that keeps <laughs> changing I, didn't, I never it's, I'll, I'll try to point it out. It's okay. very brief. Um, what about hair? The hair length for anybody? Oh yeah, I'm sure that changes, but uh, you know, that's just one of those things. See where... how it's dark out? That'll tell you right there yeah. that it was. Yeah. 19. Yeah. Over here. Right about here, you'll notice that there's a picture frame on the wall when when Mike goes into uh, the room. Okay. Uh, you see it very briefly. And that was filmed in New Jersey? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's Me filmed hanging. in two totally different locations. <laughs> and it wasn't a closet. Yeah. Um, you know what? That scared me, by the I, way, I when might... I first saw that. that <laughs> <laughs> we might have cut that picture. I, I, may, have, I may have missed yeah. it already, to tell you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh... There was another mistake that you went back and fixed before you released it. Oh, yeah, what the was knife. that? The knife was oh, still Oh, you're hidden. right. Yeah. I think you caught that right. because the knife was still... One of you guys caught that. Yeah, from yeah. I sent. I think I sent you an email about it or something. Yeah, and you know what? We never got a shot of Mike without the knife. But it in looks him. good. The next yeah, shot you see so, of Mike, it's out. But that was the yeah. Photoshopped I photoshopped. It yeah. I pho there. like right there. Yeah. I photoshopped out the knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This I remember. This I was filming this shot. Yeah. Of going back and forth, and I remember we had the lights on you, and I was trying. There were so many things in the room, and I was trying not to hit like all yeah. the shit as you. You know, as you were like walking around the room, that was a tough yeah, shot. Yeah, it really to was. Do. I think this is my to get finest, shadows out. This yeah. is my finest contribution to uh, <laughs> the voices. Yeah. Shit. Here's where he thinks it's gonna be, Mr. Bucket. Guess who? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I love this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the doing the zooms in. Yeah, juxtaposition of the smiling kids too. Is it is real creepy? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I know you have the balls. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Yep. So we just wanted to, you know, little reference to Mr. Bucket there, because I just wanted to, I wanted people to keep guessing as much as possible. It's a great shot too. And there's, yeah. it's still open to so much interpretation, <laughs> of like what really happened. Is there really a did Miss was Mr. Bucket even real? I think it's know? funny that Mr. Bucket's still in there too. <laughs> yeah, he never moved because he doesn't even want to touch it. He's like, I don't want to touch it since you know. Yeah, that's right. You can do better than that. Uh, the music that you like, that you yeah. added uh, was that the last thing that you worked on. It was, yeah, it, and it was great. It, yeah, you I did a great job with that. Cool. Editing. It's all uh, like like uh, royalty free um, music, you know, that you can buy a license to. So uh, a lot. And this closet here, this is not a closet. It's actually in the nerd room where we are sitting right now. There's a pole going yeah. across the shelves, right like right in this there. room here. This is, I think, your most passionate acting I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> How can you see me? <laughs> you sure got a hold on me. I feel bad for you. That's and here's it. the reveal. It's the phone. This is my favorite part of the video. Yeah. My favorite I remember, shot yeah. right here, right here. I remember there was always like, like a concern. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I oh, love my favorite that. line. I just want to be your dream bomb. I love it because it finally <laughs> I justifies. I love that shot. <laughs> yeah. What does it do? Like, what is dream phone supposed to mean in the first place? A dream phone? It's more like the dream oh. guy. Not, they, they're, <laughs> yeah. not, they're not actually in love with the phone. That's true. These shots here, of, I, I was trying to get the um, the phone up the stairs yeah. and trying to get that thing to do what you want on a string because it's always spinning around. It yeah. was a huge pain in the ass. Many, many takes to get this phone yeah. to do what you want. Oh, oh, I never got the string. There's, you still see the string in that <laughs> yeah. one shot. Yeah. I never noticed it as much now. <laughs> Because uh, I have, I've always been looking at it on my computer and on yeah. a smaller screen. It's fine. No, that's all right. Yeah. yeah I mean, well, whatever. I hope, Nobody I thinks it's really a phone. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope no one does. Here, like, my face goes red for a little bit, too. Like, I was really... Because the only way to make it look real was to really make it strangle me. <laughs> <laughs> I think the stuff with, like, the numbers, asterisks and all that, we came up with that on the spot. That, that was, was improv. All Mike would, like, feed me some lines and yeah. just come up with whatever. Like, hit the pound sign. Oh, punch. Piece of shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pound! 
right there. Oh, that hurt having to punch the phone. <laughs> the operator, I'll show you how my fucking fist operates. The other shots where, where it's on my face, I'm punching a pillow. <laughs> he does his own stunts. The guy likes Jackie Chan. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is the screen when it gets high. <laughs> yeah, that like the little high pitched part in there. <laughs> And then the beep they, uh, that the microphone, the microwave still has to be great if it's a oh, commercial for Magic Shift uh, microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> and also, some of your finest acting right here. Oh yeah. It I mean, really this, is, without this, saying anything. This really opened up the doors more for me that I felt this was like a, Bore James is like a, a Norman Bates kind of character. <laughs> yeah. I love a little flash frame at the end. Yeah. That's great. Right there. <laughs> yeah. And then we end with the upbeat song. The sugary pop. I like that you keep the dream phone. Uh, yeah, yeah kind of like, and yeah. And the hot pink font. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, nice work, James. I think it's the best oh, video that you've made. Really, I do. Well, thank you. Yeah, this okay. was a... It might be my favorite so far. Hopefully... Do something just as good sometime yeah. in the future? Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I say we do. Right. Oh, the Cinemassacre logo in pink. Yep. <laughs> You're right. I really like you.